It's early Sunday morning and the tea is piping hot. It's water, it's actually water. I'm now a prop queen, I'm now a prop queen. All right, y'all, it's Sunday morning, waking up, looking fresh as a daisy. And um, <laughs> I've encountered or I've stumbled upon a little bit of drama, a little bit of tea, as you would say, and it's all coming from our very own Chantel Flabby Bobby. <laughs> Now, if there are two constants on YouTube, it's that Chantel likes to eat on camera and she likes to be an asshole on, on YouTube. Those are the two constants on YouTube. Those are two things that you can always count on when you open your YouTube page. Chantel eating on camera and being an asshole. Now, she has decided to take it upon herself to be Amberlynn's savior. So Amber Lynn's, I don't even protect her. I don't, I don't know what, I don't, I really, I really don't know what the goal is right now considering Amber Lynn doesn't really care that much about you, Chantel. And I know you're watching because you've already admitted that you watch all our videos. They're all on your suggested feed and you're mad at YouTube for suggesting it to you even though you like to watch it. But Chantel really likes to show her ass on her community post. So I thought, hey, why not go through it together, shall we? So without further ado, here we go. Big beautiful me, this channel is ridiculous. I agree, Chantel, your channel is ridiculous. You are right on that. This quote unquote content creator, I don't, <laughs> I love when um, Chantel likes to use quotation marks and she doesn't use them correctly. Charlie Gold does make content. It's not a figure, it's not a figure of speech. It's not maybe, she is actually creating content on her channel. This content creator basically reacts to every single thing Emerlyn does in every video. She is an obese woman highly opinionated of other, of another obese woman's struggles. She is an obese woman highly opinionated of another obese woman's struggles. That was a very hard sentence to read because the grammar is awful. So from what I'm already gathering, you're already mad at her because she is fat too and she has an opinion on you. So, Chantel, let me know, what is the BMI range to be able to talk about the dumb shit you do on camera? Like, I just, let me know what, do you want skinny people coming for you? Do you want slightly underweight people coming for you? Do you want just obese people? Like, I, I really want to know, what is the criteria? What is the BMI range for which you want people to come for you? Because I would think that you would rather hear it from another fat person who understands the struggle and is trying to be truthful with you. But that doesn't seem to fly with you. And I have a feeling that if some skinny bitch got on here and really came for you, you'd have a problem with that too. But anyway, let's keep going. She reacted to my video as well. Saying I bring it on myself for talking about dingleberries and TMI, etc. I love that ding- uh, per You know what? I just have to say it. I'm like, pat myself on the back a little bit. I kind of love the fact that everyone is calling her the dingleberry queen. Like, I feel like I kind of coined that a little bit, but I love it. I love that that's added into the vernacular of things with Chantel. Like, I have a feeling one day we'll get to a point where if you Google dingleberry, a picture, a picture of Chantel will come up. I think you are confused. Okay, I don't care about what people think about my dingleberries. What I have a problem with is you profiting off of Amberlynn like thousand others when you are obese too and need to take a seat. Well, if you watch Charlie Gold's channel, you would actually see that she's out here exercising, working her ass off to get healthy. I'd rather talk about TMI than be a hypocrite and base my channel off of someone else. In today's video, she thanks her followers for 60,000 subscribers. Bro Honestly, bravo, Charlie. You're killing it right now, and kudos to you. Kudos to you. You should be thanking Evelyn for those subs and views. I actually think she's done that. She's actually talked about the fact that she's not naive to the fact that a lot of people come to her channel because she talks about Evelyn. We, we all admit that. None of us are sitting here pretending like we she Amberlynn isn't a catalyst for our channels doing well. Girl, you've been trying to talk about Amberlynn. People just don't give a fuck about what you have to say about her. In fact, when you did try to tear her apart in your one video, no one cared then either and everyone called you an asshole for doing it. Just a few months ago, your own content was getting you a couple thousand views and the minute you started talking about Amber Amberlynn, your views went up. Your channel is one of a kind, so original. Girl, your entire channel is literally based around copying the patterns off of Amberlynn now. You exploit your obesity, 
then you are impulsive and you do videos of you like, I'm not trying anymore, I give up, I'm gonna eat ribs, I'm gonna eat mac and cheese. And then you do videos of you doing hauls, stupid clothing hauls, tour hauls, pure one import hauls of all the shitty shit you want to hoard in your house. And then you do videos of you being sad and, so, and lonely. and It's like you literally are trying to copy the mold of Amberlynn Reed. And I don't know why you would be trying to copy that, but that's on you, girl. Fat girls should not have opinions on the journey and struggles of another fat girl when you are still obese yourself. Girl, you've literally done that yourself. You've literally come on here and done the exact thing you are complaining about. And why are you putting opinions in quotation marks? There are, they're actually opinions. You don't have to put them in quotation marks. There actually are opinions. Charlie Gold's opinions, they're actually real. That's what they're called, opinions. It's not, it's not fictitious. It's not, not, she's not implying, like, girl, they're actually her opinions. It's what she feels. It's what she thinks about things. Just because you've lost a bit of weight doesn't mean your own struggle is finished. Of course, I will get so much hate for this post, but I, could, I really could care less. It's couldn't care less. If you say you could care less, then that means you actually could actually care less than what you care right now. It's couldn't care less. I already get so much. What is a bit more? This is quote unquote my opinion. Girl, this is your opinion. I do. Chantel is probably one of the dumbest people that I've encountered in my entire life. And I've encountered some really dumb people. Chantel, you're never going to be successful. You're on here complaining about the fact that you're going to have to have a hysterectomy and you're not doing any of the steps to help mitigate any of the damage that's going to happen when you actually get that surgery. You've talked incessantly about the fact that you are nervous about that surgery because you are so overweight. You are so morbidly obese. You've had three, four plus years since you've gotten that diagnosis about your ovarian cyst that you're gonna need to have surgery and all you've done is put on weight. You're miserable, you have nothing going for you. No one feels bad for you. No one feels sorry for you. No one cares. And at the end of the day, it bothers you to see someone with a beat face, serving nothing but mug, nothing but face. She's out here doing the damn thing, getting t tons of subscribers, getting tons of views. People actually find her inspirational. People actually find her aspirational. And no one cares about what you're doing. No one is concerned for you. No one is really that bothered by what you have going on. And your channel, your views suck. That's really what it all comes down to is you hate the fact that people are more successful than you. You hate the fact that people are getting the views that you wish you could get because no one gives a fuck about a fat girl eating a lot of food on camera anymore because Amberlynn's already taken the cake. So I would suggest that you focus on your life, focus on getting healthy, focus on surviving your surgery, and keep it pushing and not worry about what someone like Charlie Gold is doing or saying. This, it's funny too, because when I did my first react to her, she lost her damn mind. She literally lost her mind. And it was the same, Charlie and I pretty much said the same thing. She explains she talks about shit way too much on camera she's way too graphic about what she's talking about it's fucking gross it's dehumanizing it's demoralizing it's everything that is grotesque and you would think that someone who likes to talk about poop so much would just be okay with it and be like fine okay people are gonna find me gross because i like to talk about shit most people don't like to talk about human waste like that but you really get off on it so focus on your life and get better dog because no one's going to do it for you. Whatever. I just wanted to talk a little bit about that because it was crazy. I'm going to go watch Sunday football. I know, right? <laughs> Such a jock. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Michael B. Petty. And until next time, toodles.